Hallelujah. Who are a mighty God we say? Who are a mighty God we say? Heaven and earth adore Him. Angels bow before Him. What a mighty God we say. We serve a mighty God, what a mighty God, what a mighty God, we deserve. Oh, we serve a mighty God, what a mighty God, a mighty God, we Heaven and earth adore you, even angels. What a mighty God what a mighty God that we serve. I just want us this morning to relax, think of his goodness. I say it all the time that the Bible says, God is king of all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. Let your mind be involved in your praise as much as you want to let your body, but let your mind be it. Think about his goodness. Think about his mercy. Think about his grace. Think about his favor and use that to propel your praise unto him and to him alone this morning. Amen. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord as we offer a sacrifice. A sacrifice. Into the house, we bring the sacrifice. Into the house, as we offer a sacrifice. I would lift up my voice and praise today. Oh, I would lift up my voice and praise for I know you are always on my guide. You are my all in all. No matter what I face. Thank you today, oh, oh, oh. I will live.
Come on, lift him up. Now we're saying that we want to lift it up. He says if I lift, if I get lifted up, I'll draw all men up. Come on, lift him up. Lift him up. Little bit higher now. Little bit higher now. Lift him up. Lift him up. Lift him up. Hey, my Lord is good. Glory be to 
the Lord is the highest. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. if I have to lose my voice for Jesus Christ is okay because one of the things that I've learned and that I've realized I don't know if it was from here maybe Pastor Yemi said it God is a God of exchange so for example now he took upon sin and he gave us righteousness he took upon death and he gave us life but another thing that I realized is that he gives us life in exchange for praise the Bible says that only the living can praise the Lord. The Bible says, I shall not die, but live to declare. You cannot declare without your mouth. The Bible says that even if you do not worship me, who will worship me? But it says that I will have to raise them up because they need life. So understand that the exchange is that God has given us life this morning. So we need to use our breath to be able to sing unto the Lord. We need to use our mouth to sing unto He breathed into us and we became living souls living beings by his breath that we have life it is in him that we live it is in him that we move and it is in him that we have our total being so we need to understand that the reason why we're here today is not because you drove here safely by your skill it's because by the grace of god it's in him you give life you are love you bring light to the darkness, you restore every heart, every heart that is broken. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. It's your breath in my lungs. So we pour out our praise, pour out our praise, it's your breath in my lungs. So we pour out our praise to you. Oh, say it's your breath, it's your breath in my lungs. So we pour it's your breath in our lungs. So we pour your breath that is in my lungs so I will open my mouth it's your breath in my lungs so we pour out our praise to you all you give life to our love Every heart, every 
In the book of Psalms 100, it says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Indeed, Father God, we are here to render our praise and thanksgiving to a God that sees and hears, to a God that allowed us to enter into a new month of fulfillment, into a new month of joy, into a new month of triumph, into a new month of greater celebration, into a new month of glorious testimonies. Jehovah God, it is only only you that has done this so for this and so much more we just say thank you father God for your love that you've shown toward us for your mercy for your kindness for your goodness Jehovah God we give you all the glory honor and praise Lord is there a way that we may have fallen short is there any way that we have missed it Lord we're coming to today and we're asking for your forgiveness oh God Lord we cry out for mercy that in any way we have erred father God just be merciful on to us in the name of Jesus. Let not, Father God, those things that we have done, let it not hinder our blessings from coming to manifestation in the mighty name of Jesus. King of kings and Lord of lords, we are inviting the Holy Spirit here to rule and to reign and to have your way. We want you to just take total control over every aspect of this program from the beginning to the end, from the first service to the second service. Father God, just come rule and reign as only you can do in the name of Jesus and we do not permit the adversary in this place we do not permit the destroyer in this place we do not permit the devourer in this place we come against them now in the name of Jesus we bind every foul spirit any spirit of heresy any spirit that is not according to the spirit of the most high God we bring you into subjection and we bind you now in the name of Jesus we say we do not permit you in our gathering in the name of Jesus King of glory as your ministers will be minister and ministering in praise and song Father God I'm asking that the heavens will open up today Father God and the blessings will come down I'm praying that today's service June 2nd it will be a notable day a notable day of miracles a notable day of signs a notable day of wonders and a notable day of testimony King of glory speak through you your ministers mightily on today in the name of Jesus and for those that are coming on their way Father God quicken their footsteps let them get here safe and sound oh God in the name of Jesus once again Holy Spirit we invite you in our midst we say take control and have your way and at the end of the day Father God all the glory all the honor and all the praise will be on to you and you alone oh God for in Jesus precious name we pray amen amen We shall continue this service as we sing from hymn 666, Holy, Holy, Holy. Hymn 666, Holy, Holy, Holy.
Praise the Lord. Can somebody praise the Lord? How many of us are glad to be here on the second day of the sixth month of the year 2024? Thank God we give God all the glory for all that's been happening in our midst. Our Bible reading for today is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 28. I read, Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands towards thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their de desert. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also, and lift them up forever. There ends the reading. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Last week we are here. This week we are here. Throughout the week, throughout the days, and this particular second, shall we thank Jesus, the Apostle and High Priest of our salvation. Thank him, thank him, and exalt him for the life he has given us. His loving kindness is better than life. The Bible tells us that who is man, that he is, we are mindful of him. He is mindful of our going out, our coming in. He is mindful of our sleeping and our waking moments. He is mindful of the things we eat, the things we breathe, everything about us. Because this is the day he has made. He has a thought and a plan for us. A, a thought of peace and not of evil to give us an expected end. That's the reason we are here today. Shall we just thank God for our husbands, our wives, children, grandchildren. Shall we thank God for the place we sleep and wake up. For the car we drive, that the wheels are not run out of the car. Many people have had that experiences before, or those experiences. They were driving and the wheel of their car just left. Cars stopping on the highway. But God, by his ultimate grace, was able to keep us and guide us even this wonderful time. Thank God for the food you eat, that you're not eating through G tube. You are not having oxygen with portable air, all because of His grace, not by the works of righteousness, not because we are better, not because we are just Christians, because of His loving kindness for us. Thank you, Heavenly Father Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10 says, But now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing. Speak the same thing. That there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. He said we should speak the same thing, not the same word. He said that we should, there be no division, but not disagreement. There will be disagreement. Ah, we want this way, but there will be no division among us. Can somebody honestly, truthfully, sincerely look unto Jesus and say, you know something, God? I am sure that as a member of this church, I don't have any division among our, on anything. If anybody can say it, that's good. But I can stand in the name of Jesus and say, no. If there is any weakness, it's not division. It's not disagreement. And God is saying we should do this. I mean, if you cannot agree with a Christian in the church, and you want to agree with God, that is the highest form of hypocrisy. How can we think about this? 
can I be able to sleep and wake up and look at myself and say, God, thank you so much that anytime, at most, if I go to church, even if somebody is doing something I don't like, there'll be no division. The Bible says we should speak the same thing and we should speak in the same mind. There are some things that anybody cannot pray for. Just agree. It's something of this nature. We either agree or disagree. The Bible told us or tells us that the children of men wanted to build the Tower of Babel. The Bible said the people is one, not are. It's one. The people is one. Is it possible? I know for sure that by his grace I can be able to do that. I'm not sure that any one of us can do it. How are we disagreeing with one another? I will not, I will not just call it a prayer. Anyhow, it's your mind. See, God, just help me. Shall we just pray for this in Jesus' name? God, help me, even in my family. Is it disagreement on everything? Everything is disagreement. In my job, people cannot even recognize me as a person who works with people. Everything is disagreement. Everything. In church, it's disagreement. Separation, discrimination. Is that God or is it devil? Definitely, it's agreement is not of God. In Jesus' name, may the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be accepted with the sight in Jesus' name. Shall we declare our declaration as we say? I declare that in God, salvation and my glory, the rock, my strength, and my refuge is in God. Amen. If your refuge is in God, shout a louder, Amen. amen. If you are here to worship God, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you understand how worship is accepted, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I don't think that. I don't think you don't understand how worship is accepted. Can somebody please, a media, give me Revelations 3.19. Amen. Before we go to confess our belief to one another. Revelations 3.19. Please, thank you. 319, not 13. Yes. The Lord said, as many as I love, and I believe the Lord loves us here, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. What is the chastening for this morning? Remember, the Lord loves you. That's why I am saying this that I want to say. If we really understand what worship is in truth and in deed, then we will understand that God is a God that is mindful of when we present ourselves before him. I come and I witness, and I, many here can bear witness. If we look around, when we started the service at 10, we were not half this number. We were not half as many as are here. And we expect our worship to be accepted by God. If it is something that is out of our control that has caused us to present ourselves late before the Lord, heaven understands. But if it is something that is in our control, and if it has become a habitual manner for us not to be in the presence of God in a timely manner, our worship is not accepted. We need to tell ourselves these truths so that our time will not be wasted in the presence of God. Imagine the God of the whole earth. Imagine the many churches that exist on earth. If you want to get the attention of God, who has children all over the world, then you must be ready to do things in the way he wants us to do things. We have agreed worship begins at 10, Sunday school at 9. Not at 10.45 for either. And many times we come... We come with you know, almost like being forced, whether young or old. Remember, this is a rebuke from the Spirit of the Lord because he loves us, myself included. And the Bible says, therefore, be zealous to repent. So don't take it the wrong way. But take it as if, yes, God loves me to the point that he does not want me to waste my time in his presence. And what does that mean? That means coming without any benefit. Why can't we come day and night? Sunday after Sunday. 
without benefit of being touched by God. Please. The Bible says, consider your ways. Let us consider our ways. This is important. If we're truly here to serve man, we can come anytime because we're serving man. But if truly we are here to serve God, let us be principled. Principled in the things and the way we do things. And God of heaven shall bless us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It will be a day of joy for us. This month we will increase in our personal lives. In everything that we desire, the God of heaven shall respond to us in the mighty name of Jesus if you are here, you are rejoicing. Shout hallelujah. If you believe God loves you, shout hallelujah. Now, if you be zealous to repent, shout amen. It is established in Jesus' name. Now, let us make a confession. I believe to one another, as we say, I confess. But son of God is my Lord. And my somebody else, I confess that Jesus Christ, the son of God, is my Lord. And my Savior to God Almighty, I confess that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is my Lord and my Savior. Amen. Now we go on our knees. The choir will lead us to be glorified. strength with our singing with our dancing with our givings we're asking you oh god that you will accept everything even before we've started that everything we do today will be according to your divine will and purpose and it shall therefore be accepted by you in the name of jesus christ we thank you for what you did for us last month the month of may we magnify your holy name because you brought us through into the month of june it is not by power, nor by might, nor by knowledge, nor by wisdom, not by inspiration or expiration. It's just born by your grace. And because you still have a plan for our life, the people that you have written off are nowhere to be found. But because you still have things in mind concerning us, you have therefore preserved us. In our going out, our coming, it preserved us in life and in health. You've preserved us in order to serve and to worship you. The God of heaven, for being mindful of us and loving us so much, we bring our praise and our thanksgiving before you. Accept it in the name of Jesus Christ. Many more things we're going to do today. We pray, oh God, that everything shall be orchestrated by you. And there will be no room for the activities of the power of darkness. Because light has shown in darkness. Darkness cannot comprehend this light. You are the light in our midst. 
the light of our salvation, the strength of our life, and the evidence of our gathering. For unto the Lord shall the gathering of his people be. So we gather together because of you, not because of man. Come into our midst in the name of Jesus Christ. Reign and rule in this gathering today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we welcome your spirit. We know from the praise you, you, you are here already. Because you say, wheresoever two or three gather, say, I am there in their midst. We've gathered. Lord, let your presence, not just by faith, but by manifestation. By faith, we know you are here. But we want to experience your tangible presence. The manifestation of your being. Being here. When anyone touches you, they must feel a difference. They must know that they have encountered divinity. There must be a transformation and a change. That is the reason for our gathering. We're not just gathered here to go the way we came. To go as if we did not even come. No. Our gathering is to be transformed to the image of Christ from glory to glory. That is your word. And so, King of Heaven, may you work in each of our lives today in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, breathe upon us. Move us according to your will. And let there be liberty in the house to do that which is right. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty there. So God, we ask in this house, there shall be liberty. There shall be none that are bound but there will be freedom of righteous expression in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the enemy will have no room in this place in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. May the spirit of joy mingle with us today. The spirit of the praisers of heaven. May they divinely come and be in attendance of this service of today in the name of Jesus Christ. And collectively, we on earth and they above, we will praise and worship your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We bless you for those who have taken the time out of their busy schedule to participate in one thing or the other for the furtherance of your kingdom in this ministry. And Father, we pray that none shall lose their reward in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether it's by their time or their givings, their prayers, which are much needed every time. Lord, whatever has been given, I pray that you, who says you will owe no man anything, I'm asking, oh Lord, that you will reward everyone in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Only as you can, not as man can. For man can do only so much. Man is limited. But God, you being the unlimited God, can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think. Above all that we ask or think. You can do things that is superior to our knowledge that we cannot even phantom. No wonder you say, my ways are higher than your ways, my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. So even above the measure of our thoughts, you can do things. So I pray, oh God, in this house today, what we cannot even ex ex phantom, oh God, I pray in your mercy and by your grace, you will do it for us in the name of Jesus Christ. As we come to praise and worship you, let it be with all our hearts, with all our minds, not just by our outward manner, but internally, which is more important. For the Bible says these people, they honor me with their lips, but you say their hearts are far from me. We don't want that to be our portion. We want our hearts, oh God, to be offered unto you first. And then every other thing, whether it's our lip service, our dancing will follow after in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God of heaven. But eventually, there are those that are heavy laden, that carry big burdens, that don't even know what to do, that are expecting a miracle, expecting intervention, and it doesn't seem like it is forthcoming. Lord God of heaven, today, you are the God that knows us more than we know ourselves. And you are the God that has our times in your hands. David said, my times are in your hands. Because he knew that what he was going through at the time was a fugitive. He knew that it will pass. No wonder nowadays they say, this, this too shall pass. It is not forever. It will pass. It is only a matter of time. 
our times and your hands. So I pray, oh God, those of us that may still be carrying something, that may be heavy laden, that may be wondering when you will hear, when you will consider there, when you will open their case, let our time be now in the name of Jesus Christ. Now is the acceptable time, the appointed time. Now, now, everything according to you is now. Now faith is. Now is the acceptable time. All the promises of God are yes and amen. So you are a positive God, not a negative God. You are very positive. And you are a God that is ready to respond now. Now. But I know that there is also that period whereby the Bible says, Seek the Lord where he may be found. Because you said there are times that you will seek him and you will not find him. But I pray concerning us that as we seek you today, we shall find you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether here together or on our own as we go into the life that you've given us, whenever we call, whenever we seek, we will find you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, you are not a God that is far off. He says, even the word is right there where you are. It is not in heaven so that somebody has to go to heaven and get it. Neither is it in, the, in, in hell that somebody has to go beneath the ground to bring it up. He says, right there where you are, God is there. So, Father, where we are, be here with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Father. We magnify your holy name. We bless your set man, our bishop. We pray you continue to decorate his life in the name of Jesus Christ with grace, mercy, and glory. Continue, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. With him, uphold him in the mighty name of Jesus. With all other ministers, keep us, O oh Lord. Preserve us, O oh Lord. And continue to use us, every single one, from the elder to the younger. Make us, O oh God, to be the apples of your eye, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And for the entire congregation, put us in the palm of your hand. You said it, I have inscribed you. In the palms of my hand it says your walls are continually before me so i pray oh god your eyes which never sleep nor slumber will continue to look and behold each and every one of us and favor us in the name of jesus christ favor us oh god favor us oh god in the name of jesus thank you father god we bless your holy name i pray you'll anoint every minister of today anoint them anoint the choir anoint the ministers let a fresh anointing a glorious and powerful anointing rest upon those you want to use today they will not move or operate in their own accord because a gift or a talent will not be impactful without the resting abiding anointing upon it they are gift to the body but i pray the anointing from above will rest upon them as gifts you breathe over them and you move through them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Father. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. And to forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom power and the glory forever and ever. amen and the church says amen hallelujah hallelujah our lord is good and all the time it's yes, time for our tithe and our offering for this Sunday. So let us pray over our tithe that God will take away the war and let us bring our offering with joy in the presence of Almighty as the choir will be leading us. Let us come forward rejoicing, bringing our sacrifice to God, holy and acceptable in the mighty name of Jesus. Choir, please. In the morning, when I wake up, I will sing my song to you, my Lord. I will sing, I will shout to you, to every my helper ever. In the morning, when I wake up, I will sing my song to you. I will sing, I will shout to you, to every my helper. Say in the morning, in the morning. I will sing my song. I will 
sing. Let's praise the Lord. Thank God for the new month. Thank God for the, today, Sabbath day. 
God of infinite mercy shall bless us in the name of Jesus. The word of God tells us in the book of Timothy 2, 1 and 2, that you therefore, my son, my daughter, be strong in grace that is Christ Jesus. And the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit this to faith for men who will be able to teach each other. God shall teach us in the name of Jesus. God shall reveal himself unto us in the name of Jesus. The powerful hand of God shall guide us in the name of Jesus. In this new month, we shall be a beneficiary in the name of Jesus. Saints, once again, thank God for what he's doing among us. And that is why we call with the title and offering. Baba, receive it. Sanctify it. Bless it. Do a new thing in our life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, CGIM. Can we give God a better shout of praise? Can we praise the Lord? If you're glad to be in the month of June, can we just celebrate God? Can we celebrate one another? Can we welcome each other to the month of June 2024? Hallelujah. Look to someone next to you and declare something great into their life for this month. This month is a month of joy for you. It'll be a month of acceleration, a month of speed. You will experience the hand of God this month. Just begin to declare awesome things into the life of your neighbor. Amen. And so shall it be unto us in Jesus' name. Today is a joyful, joyful day in God's presence. Today is the first Sunday of the month of June 2024. And we're giving God all the thanks and all the praise for our lives so far this year. The month of June marks the sixth month of the year. We're halfway throughout the year of 2024. And we can only say that we are standing by the grace and mercy of God Almighty. So please today, let's give God our all, all our praise, all our worship. Let's not look to our left, to our right. By the grace of God, we know that every Sunday we start our day with Sunday school at 9 a.m. prompt. If you don't have a Sunday school book, you can purchase one from the Bible ministry. It's $10 a copy. Then we go straight into our worship. That starts at 10 a.m. every Sunday. So we'd love you to join us, to invite friends and family every Sunday, 10 a.m. And God is doing amazing things in this ministry. Hallelujah. From Monday through Friday, we do have our midday prayers. That's at 12.30 p.m. prompt to 1 p.m. So if you're ever free at work, at school, you have a break, please do join for the prayer line. And this very week, we will not be having our Bible study or Holy Ghost night. Instead, we will be having our three-day revival for the month of June to the glory of God. Does anyone know the theme for this month? A little louder, Minister Joyce. Amen. Rebuilding faulty foundations. That is what God is coming to do this month for us by the grace of God. And please, so make time for this Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 7 p.m. prompt. If you've never been to any of the revivals so far this year, please do not miss this one. And as you're coming, bring someone along with you. Let's share what God is doing here at Christ Glory International Ministries. Today, before service, today after service, between um, the service and the Thanksgiving, all the youth and young adult in the house, we have a very, very important meeting. It will be held in the choir room, so please, immediately after the service, please let's all head to the choir, choir room for our meeting. And the young adults would like to stress that many people do not know that they are part of the young adults ministry. It's actually one of the largest um, 
age sectors in this church. It goes from the age of 29 to 45 years old. So if you are not 46, you are part of the young adults ministry. Hallelujah. And if you are from the ages of 19 to 29, you are part of the youth ministry. So please, you can join us after service for our very important meeting in the choir room. Amen. And for all the youth in the house, we would like to announce that starting tomorrow, June 3rd, 2024, we will be embarking on a one month long prayer challenge. Hallelujah. God has put this in our hearts since we've done it two years ago, September, where we'll be gathering on Zoom for one hour every single night from 1030 to 1130 p.m., seeking the face of God on different things, praying, crying unto him, increasing our um, fellowship with him. So we invite everyone to join. All the youth, if you have not put your name down to lead a day, please see the link in the group chat. And all the young adults, we also invite you to put your name down if you would like to lead a day as well. We begin tomorrow with our travailing in prayer. Amen. And God will give us this, the strength to do so in Jesus' name. If you would like to be part of the Welfare and Hospitality Committee here at Christ Glory International Ministries, please see um, our Bible school teacher by the name of Mr. Femi Aki Leye. He is in the house today, I believe. So please see him. If you'd like to be a part of the hospitality department, please see him and put your name down. For all those in Gardening Club, the next meeting will be happening this Saturday, June 8th at 10 a.m. If you are not part of it or you are, please see, and you'd like more information, please see our deaconess, Deaconess Kemi Alabi. She's been doing an amazing job, and we can see the harvest already starting to spring forth for those who are part of the um, club. For all the boys and men in the house, you will be having a meeting today on Zoom at 6.30 p.m. prompt. So if you're, a boy, if you're a boy in the house, you're part of the ministry, or you would like to be part of the ministry, please join the meeting today at 6.30 p.m. For all the workers in the house, all those who find their hands doing something good here at Christ Glory for God, and those who find their hands not doing anything, but they want to do something, we will be having our workers meeting for this quarter on June 15th, Saturday at 4 p.m. Please, let's not miss it. It's a very important meeting. We get updates and we pray together. We um, rub minds together for the progress of this ministry. So please don't miss it, June 15th at 4 p.m. And if you are a lady in the house, if you are a mother, a grandmother, a sister, a daughter, the youth are, are hosting a Gifted Hands hair program. So if you have a hairstyle you'd like to do this summer, please see our sister, Sister Oyin Kosala Femi Falademi in the back. She's wearing red, looking beautiful. Put your name down. Send your style to her, and we will get you a date for your appointment as well as the price. We are doing this in hopes of raising money for our Youth Alive coming up August 3rd, 2024. And on behalf of the Children's Ministry, they want all the parents to know if you have not put your name down for the Keensburg trip happening this June in a few weeks, June 28th, please do so as soon as possible. If you have not completed your payment for $75 per child, Please do so as soon as possible. It covers food, transportation, the ticket for the water and amusement park. And all children ages 0 to 5 years old must be accompanied by a parent. Now can we just look at the seats that we're sitting on? Can we look around the church? Can we look at the altar and everything? Can we celebrate those who took the time to do this? It's, it's not as easy as people think changing these chair covers. Amen. So please, we'd like to announce to the church, please, let's treat these things as if we're in the house of the Lord. Amen. If you see a child with a pen in their hand about to write on the, the chairs, things like that, we don't want this seat covers to be messed up. And if they are messed up, please, we know where everyone usually sits and you will be doing laundry for this chair cover because it takes a lot to put it on. Amen. But yes, these... Um, so please, let's keep that in mind. Let's keep the house of God as clean as we can. And now we're just going to go into our thanksgivings for this month. So as we know, today we will be celebrating the now Mrs. Jennifer Adebukola, now Oyewale, hallelujah. So her Thanksgiving, her wedding Thanksgiving, as well as our 
Mr. Mr. Lake Oyewole. It will be happening after service today. So immediately after service, I believe there will be a short break, and then we'll welcome the newly wedded couple, the latest couple in CGIM. We'll welcome them, and we'll have their Thanksgiving today after the service. Next week, we're celebrating our sister, Miss Oin Kosola Femi Fola Divi. Amen. She'll be turning 21 years old to the glory of God, and she's thanking God for the ability to have graduated this May 2024. On June 22nd and 23rd, we'll be celebrating one of our mommies in the house who is turning 60 years old to the glory of God Almighty. Her name is Mrs. Florence Omishala. And she's having her birthday party on June 22nd. The entire church is invited. And then the Thanksgiving will follow during the service on June 23rd. So these are all our announcements uh, for today. If you are a visitor in the house, if it's your first time here on Sunday, can you just jump up on your feet? We'd love to welcome you to Christ's glory. Can we just welcome our sister in the house? Can we shake her hand? Can we welcome her to Christ's glory? Our dear sister, this is actually not her first time here at Christ Glory International, but it's her first time here on a Sunday joining us today. So if you remain standing, we'd love to introduce you our general overseer and founder here, Bishop Joseph Adereji, right here. We'd love to introduce you our mother, Pastor Prophetess Comfort Adereji as well. Right here, we are celebrating our senior pastor Edward Shokoya in the house and our senior pastor in charge, Senior Pastor Yemi Adedeji. So on behalf of all the pastors here, all the ministers, we welcome you back to Christ Glory International Ministries. We thank you so much for joining us, and you may be seated. We hope you're blessed today. This concludes our announcements of today. Thank you so much for listening. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So without much ado, um, we celebrated some of our daughters who graduated some were not around on that day um but i think today we have one who was not around one of our daughters uh who actually graduated uh as a doctor of occupational therapy sister adebayo please come i just want us Recognize her. Hallelujah. Amen. I didn't want to do it behind closed doors. You are blessed in Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen. We have prayed all the prayer. We prayed for them. Shall rest upon you. Amen. Hallelujah. Before we go into our praise for today, we have a testimony. Quick testimony. By our presiding elder, Boyatalabi. God bless you, sir. I like it. No man, Baba. I like it. No man, Baba. Oh, who could live? Oh, no, they are 
Shout one big hallelujah because we have a lot of events today. One big hallelujah, please. Ah, the reason for my testimony is that this little boy in front of you was born on June 1st, 1949. At Mercy Hospital, Itafaji, Lagos, Nigeria. So, why people are calling me Baba Jebu, I don't know. Because myself, the Fujas, the Ojikutus, we went to only, only Trinity School at Etiosa. I thank God for allowing me to witness 75 years. It wasn't, it, it wasn't easy. It, it was it's filled with a lot of uphills. But I thank God. God gave me this. The, the God was with me. I'm, I was, I'm able to overcome all the, all the troubles and triumphant during the 75 years of my journey. <laughs> Baba. Baba. I don't know. Baba, I'm talking to you, sir. I'm talking to you, sir. I don't know what to say about you because many times we have been here and God don't want reputation. But at the same time, I want to recognize some points. When, you, when I brought my wife to college hospital, and you told me to follow you. Please, let's listen. When you told me to follow you, I have the right or I have the option to say I cannot follow you. Because the first celestial church in America was established in New York by Moses Akini Boson and the Lord's Day, Blessed Memory. But I followed you. After I followed you, Everything turned 60 degrees for me. Myself and my wife, we were living in a studio apartment in a ghetto. In a ghetto. After that, we became a homeowner in Maplewood. After that, after I started attending this church, when you asked me, that when you told me you are going to start a church, that you have to start. I must be coming to this. God gave me three children. And these are very, very good children. Very, very good children. I'm very, very proud of you. That is the Bible, those of you who have read about the hand of God, the Baba's hand is the hand of God. Baba's hand is the hand of God. He cemented to me because many times he will tell me, all work, all work without Christ is vanity. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, Baba will call me Talabi, all work. God, God, 
God of all you need follow you follow the rules of God. I can only do my. That glory center. Where does your time like? Oh, she, oh, Lua. Oh, my, she, oh, Jesus. I know that for a while. Oh, she, oh, Papa. Oh, she, oh, Lua. Oh, my, she, oh, Jesus. I know that. Oh, Jehovah, oh, my Jehovah, Jesus, if I let you out, oh, Jehovah, Baba. I thank God for your life and I thank God for my life because the word of God is coming to is, is, has come to pass in my life and in your life Papa was the first person I told God has directed that a church must begin in America through me he was the one I was in United Hospital that day he came in the morning to see me and I told him and he said if it is so I'm ready and you are here today and I'm also here today I carried Baba's three children with this hand and I thank God that they are all still alive their mother alive the father is alive the children are alive and they are multiplying this is an extra daughter to the family i praise the lord for what he's doing and he'll continue to do good to all of us in the church in the name of jesus one thing i will tell the church believe in the lord jesus christ that was the word of god if you believe you see the favor of God. Man is man. But when God calls a man to lead his people, like he called Moses, follow the instruction of that man. Because if the man is actually called by God, if you follow him, you will not regret. And I pray for every one of you, none of you will regret serving the Lord of Christ's glory in the name of Jesus Christ. It will be good and better and best for each one and each family in the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be for you. In Jesus' name, I pray for all of you. Senior Pastor, finish your job. Thank you. Amen. Shall we just pray? Lord God of heaven, we just thank you. Your son recognizes your goodness in his life. He even went back to the place and date that he was born and looked at it all the way till now i knew that even though through thick and thin it was none other than you oh god that had been speaking in his life directing his steps working to make things all things to work together for his good so because he came here to recognize you father accept his testimony in the name of jesus christ accept his thanksgiving offering in the name of jesus christ and i pray because he's not ashamed of you I ask that you continue to expand, enlarge, increase him and give him peace on every side in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray that many more years the Lord shall add to your years in the name of Jesus Christ. And those years shall be lived in good health, lived in joy and not sorrow, lived in peace and not in turmoil. 
and everything that is precious to you your wife your children and those coming after every treasure everything precious to you they shall not be taken away from you in the name of jesus christ thank you father for hearing we bless you in the name of god the father the son and the holy spirit go be in peace and prosper in jesus name we pray amen 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 in jesus name amen hallelujah well we thank god let's praise the lord let's praise the lord i'm humbled and god is great all my messages serve the lord god is beautiful i say again god is beautiful i say again god is beautiful god shall bless all of thank you church let's just stretch out our hand to our senior pastor we went the god of heaven who has brought him thus far to continue to be with him we want god to give him good health to lengthen his years to give him peace all around shall we pray for him in the name of jesus thank god for how far the lord has brought him has got to continue to be with him to lead him on to bless him to give him good health strength for as many as his years the number of his days shall be his strength the bible said peace on every side so that this age he will not be worrying about this worrying about that but god should give him peace satisfy him with long life and honor him in all things thank you father in jesus name we have prayed amen this church i want you to join me this chorus praising the lord for keeping god is keeping you keeping Fire, people go follow me. Walk on me. Mama say, back me, oh, they are loading me. People go follow me. Walk on me. Mama say, back me, oh, they are loading me. People go follow me. Walk on me. Mama say, back me. One more time. He will go for the road. He will go for the road. He will go for the road. He Congratulations. Happy birthday. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Happy birthday. Amen and amen. Now, can we rise up before I hand over to the choir? Please. We will do the presentation later. Okay. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. No, we will do it later. Hallelujah. Please let's rise up. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. I want us to pray a prayer that confusion should be lifted from this place. We want the presence of Almighty God. We want the saturating power of God in our midst. Can we do that, please? Let's just begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Ali Kabarusa. Kataboria, mande ke suta li ke pa, embaro sobre kali tarabaka shindele. Lift every spirit of confusion from this place. Let power come into our midst today. Expose every work of unrighteousness and ungodliness. 
bind every power that wants to work against your purpose in our midst today in the name of jesus christ thank you father for hearing in jesus name we pray why yeah. hallelujah let us begin to praise the lord the bible says in the presence of god there is fullness of joy let us begin to worship him
Cause I want to see my Jesus We've got a mind made up And we won't turn back Because we want to see our Jesus We've got a mind made up In this ministry We won't turn back We want to see our Jesus So worship mode. We have all declared one thing today that we've made up our mind to follow Jesus. No matter what we are going through. No matter what we are experiencing. That we are not going to turn back. We are not going back into our vomit. We are not going back into the world because the things of this world will pass away. But we are walking towards a goal that at the end of the day we shall be crowned that crown of glory in the mighty name of Jesus. That is why I want us to quickly look into that book of Psalm, Psalm 28 that we read. I'm sure before King David could think about this Psalm, he has been going through a lot of things. I don't know what you have been going through since the beginning of this year but I want you to be rest assured that your rock your rock of hedges is alive the God that is able to depend on is alive the only one that can wipe away your tears is alive the only one that can remove your shame and give you fame is alive the only one that can provide and make a way for you where there seems to be no way is alive that is the God that we have come to appreciate today and the verse 6 says it says blessed be the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication I pray for someone in the house that as from today your strength will be in the Lord in Jesus name it will be your shield in the mighty name of Jesus you will not lack you will not be put to shame because your Redeemer live it let us be in the worship man. thank you Jesus begin to appreciate God just think about the goodness of the Lord in your life this is half of the year 2024 but he has been so faithful more than my mouth can testify more than my mind can comprehend continue to speak to God see have seen the wonders of your grace I'm so sure that this is not the end listen to that lyrics again it says more than our mouth can testify we cannot testify the glory of God more than a mind can comprehend. Hey, see, I've seen the wonders of your grace. I am sure that this is not the end. Choir, please join me. Oh, oh, oh. Is it my liquor? Yeah, let my soul die.
far you have brought us, oh God. We appreciate you. We acknowledge you. Oh, I can't see. My leg, we are about to shout Your mouth can testify. You cannot even think at all. More than your heart can comprehend. Because you have seen the wonders of this grace. And you are sure that this is not the end. Oh, is it? Is it? See how far you have brought us, oh God. Is it? You found us worthy. We can see, we can tell, and we know it's your grave all our days. Understanding, it's not by your own power that you are able to do everything that you have been doing. Appreciate God, appreciate Him for His sovereignty, appreciate Him for His excellency, appreciate Him for His superiority. Appreciate him for his lordship. It's not by your righteousness. It's not by your own doing. It's not by your own money. It's not by your strength. It's not by your knowledge. Is it? Is it? Is it? Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit is in the house. Just continue to appreciate him. Enough of your complaints. Enough of your complaints. Enough of your nagging. Appreciate him for what he has done. Appreciate him for what he's doing right now. Why don't you just appreciate him? For what he is about to do. You cannot do it by yourself. You cannot do it by your own education. You cannot do it even if you have the all money in this world. If you know everybody in this world. If you have everything in this world. Is there a bube? The King of Glory is the one that can do it for you. Begin to speak to him. What do you want him to do for you? This month of June, I'm moving forward in your life. It's going to be effortless. It's going to be priceless. It's going to be measureless. You cannot front on it. You cannot understand it. The glory of God will begin to shine in your life. The favor of God will begin to speak for you. Before you ask, he will begin to do it. Because he is the king of glory. He is the king of kings. He is the lord of lords. 
is the only one that can make it happen is the only one that can give is the only one that can bless is the only one that can heal is the only one that can restore is the only one that can quench just begin to look forward and begin to pray for direction for this month of June for guidance for this month of June pray for provision throughout the month of June pray for protection throughout the month of June you can even ask for favor throughout this month whatever it is that you feel you need in June that you did not have in May as much as you would like you can talk to the father the father will hear the father will answer just call upon me and I will answer I will answer I will answer thank you God of heaven In Jesus name we have prayed amen hallelujah we may be seated amen we're going to come for our Thanksgiving very soon the end of the month of May Thanksgiving the end of the month of May Thanksgiving and then the birthdays of May we will do as well and then we're going to do one other thing that I want to add, announce to you beforehand because I want the Holy Spirit to minister to those for whom concerns it doesn't concern everyone and I say it again it doesn't concern everyone but as I give you this announcement those for whom it concerns I am trusting the Holy Spirit to knock on the door of your heart and tell you this concerns you if there's anybody that is in expectation of something in the month of June I know I've said you should pray you've prayed and believe and trust God by faith for the answers but if there's anyone that has any major thing life impacting event that you already know that June will decide a lot of things concerning your next agenda or the next level for your life could be any type of interview could be anything any establishment but you know that June is going to indicate something significant in your life I want you to do something we call an anticipated offering today if you go to the book of Genesis and I like to base everything on scripture chapter 15 when Moses not Moses when Abraham was telling God when 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 how and all this questioning god told moses bring an offer if you want to know about this you want to understand what i want to do he was asking for a child at that time god says bring me an offering in anticipation an anticipated offering the same was the case for david for david I won't go through stories. If you were here with us, 
Throughout the month of May, we talked about sacrifice. How sacrifice creates a response from heaven. We spoke about it throughout the month of May. You can check our YouTube channel for the Thursday programs. So I'm not going to spend this time to preach to you. But as I said, in this month of June, for those that have some things intended and planned, there's going to be an opportunity for you to bring an anticipated offering to the Lord before the service is over. So keep this in mind. But right now we want to begin our end of month thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our Lord is good and all the time. So first of all, we are going to do the end of the month thanksgiving for the great opportunity God has given to you and I to be alive today. It is by his grace, not by our own power. So let us appreciate God for keeping us alive, protecting us from the January 1st up to today 2nd of June. You see, the month, the year is going and God is still with us. So, so let us bring our Thanksgiving offering for Almighty this afternoon, end of the month Thanksgiving. So let us appreciate God. Choir, please. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, I know it. I have a witness in my heart that it is. Standing on the right side, looking up above. I know, yes, I know. That is standing. I know, I know, I know. Do you know he lives? I have a witness. That is standing. Today, oh, it's a melody day. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, oh, it's a melody day. I will rejoice and be glad in it. He won't be called over, yeah. He won't be called over, yeah. He won't be called over, yeah.
Father, we thank you for this offering. Breathe over the offering. Bless it. Increase it. Use it for your glory. Everyone that has given, I pray, you will reward them back a hundredfold in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for hearing. The month of June will be a very blessed month. Better month for us than the month of May. Let it be so for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, this is for we that we are born in the month of May. Hallelujah. Oh, May birthday. Please, can you come forward? Let us rejoice in the presence of Almighty God. Our God is good and all the time. Hallelujah. Yes. You have done so much for us. We cannot tell it all. Everybody say. God is good. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Great people. May. Even from January, February, March, April, May. Up to December. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I was asking our father whether he wants to sing. But he said, I already said, Praise the Lord. And he already carried everything. But I don't see you dancing. It's a grace to be alive. When you look at yourself, you wake up, you are alive. You thank God. You thank God. It's not by your power or might. It's only the grace. Let us pray. Let us move forward. Dangers are surrounding you. Dangers are here surrounding you. Anywhere you may be because you are climbing a new ladder in your life and that ladder you will not fall in the name of jesus we are calling jesus christ to surround you our father our god we thank you <laughs> eternal rock of ages we thank you we give you the adoration because these are your saints your servants they are kneeling down before you oh lord come down from heaven Touch every one of them in the name of Jesus. From our fire, our ministers, the saints of the Lord, entire congregation. Touch us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Because you brought gift to this ministry today. If you open the eyes of the people, they will see what you have brought for us. If our hearts is with you, you are distributing those gifts and we are tapping to the anointing upon this altar. And we are using your sense for the celebration of the amount of May. 
as a point of contact to all of us. Descend, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Touch them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. The Lord will continue to touch you, touch you, increase you, increase you, empower you, fresh anointing, authority of heaven, good health and long life. The new ladder you are climbing, you will not fall. You will not fall. You will not fail. You will not fail. Whatever Goliath is on the way, we crush them out. In the name of Jesus, continue to be disappear. Every challenge is disappear. Every sickness disappear. In the name of Jesus, disappear. The Lord will teach you up. Up and up higher above your enemies. In the name of Jesus, He will provide for all your need. You celebrated this year. You are going to celebrate more years in your life. In the name of Jesus, you will not die prematurely. You will not die untimely death. You will live and fulfill purpose. Be an accomplisher. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will fight your battle. He will fight for you. Every secret sin, the Lord will clear them out of your way with his blood. And I so call of you with the blood of Jesus. I so call of you in the blood of Jesus. I so call of you in the blood of Jesus. For more power. For more affinity. In a carrier, my saint of Korea, I'm a kina. Only can shake it. Arise and shine. Arise and shine. I soak the prayer and the blood of Jesus. It is done. It's established. It's unchangeable. Every hard desire is done. It's given. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Shabbat Hallelujah. 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 Congratulations. You have received your blessing. Amen. So as we prepare to close, um, where is Dikin Akiba? Are you around in the house? Amen. Now I want to read something for you. This is very, very important for today. Amen. <laughs> if you have your Bibles, I'd like us to read or open for now Genesis 15. Just have it open. Okay. From Adronia. Deacon. Genesis chapter 15. It's a very interesting chapter, by the way. Very interesting chapter. I want you to keep your hands there. While we get this out of the way. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Um, we have to do this presentation behalf of the men's ministry and the elders, uh, we have to present uh, Senior Pastor Edward Shokoya. Uh, yes, sir. Happy birthday, sir. Congratulations on behalf of the men and the elders. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm not a man of good, much word. But grace and thanks be to Almighty God. He's a faithful God. Even when I'm failing, He's still God. Even when I'm weak, He's still God. Even when I'm finding myself not knowing where I am, He is still God. And in Christ Glory International Ministry, He never forsake me. When I'm wondering 
not knowing what to do. He is still behind me. And I thank, also thank our bishop, Bishop J. Adedeji, for the grace of God. And powerful of God will not depart from you in the name of Jesus. You shall be blessed. You shall be blessed. I say again, you shall be blessed. Through him, we are all beneficiary of what we are seeing now. It's the grace of God. I don't want to waste much time. Nevertheless, I have to say this. When everything failed, or when everything catapult, he is still God, he is still guiding we people in Christ Glory International Ministry. He has blessed us. That alone is enough for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, sir. Amen. Everybody shout, Baba Pefua. Oh, you don't understand Yoruba. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. As we plan to close, you have your Bible at Genesis 15. Now, this is very important because it's a leading of the Holy Spirit. Not for all, and I emphasize it again. Not for it could only be for one. For one. I don't know. I let you read it on your own, but let me start from verse 4. Behold, the word of the Lord came to him, talking about Abraham, saying, This one shall not be your heir, but one who shall come from your own body shall be your heir. You see, Abraham had this dilemma in his life. He had over 300 servants. Many of them were born in his household. Many of them were warriors. He trained them. He feeds them. He takes care of them. But he didn't have a single child of, of his own. And he was worried. Is he just going to leave everything he had to this, uh, these strangers? The head of his, um, Eliezer, the head of his servants. And God says, no, that is not the case. But I have greater plans for you. I don't know if somebody is in the house that is in a dilemma of anything, any type, of any sort. God is saying that he has a greater plan for you. Now we've spent five months out of 12 months. We have launched into the sixth month. There's still something God wants to do in your life before this year is over. For some, I'm not saying for all, but for some, that you have been looking, you have been believing and trusting. I want you to know that this particular period, God wants to change your story. Now he said in verse 4, Behold, I have a better plan for you. And then you go to verse 6. After the God of heaven spoke to him, like he's speaking to some, the Bible says, He believed in what the Lord said, and the Lord accounted it to him for righteousness. Which means that Abraham believed God, and that faith became righteousness on his behalf. Which means this signifies that you and I, when we believe in Christ, we have the righteousness of Christ. So we are righteous. So Abraham qualified for righteousness. As we qualified with Christ for righteousness. Because some people, they are saying, well, as long as you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you don't need to do anything else. Scripture, there are mysteries. Jesus Christ told Peter, behold, I give you the keys to the kingdom. Mysteries of the kingdom. Not everybody has these keys. Not everybody knows and understands them. But for those that he has appointed, that's why the Bible says he appointed some teachers. For those who he has appointed to teach, he has given them the keys of the mysteries of the kingdom in order to disseminate it to those who will benefit from it. Now, going down, verse 8. Abraham now said to the Lord, how shall I know that I will inherit it? How? So that, that dilemma is still there, even though 
his faith had been accounted as righteousness he still had this dilemma he still had this question he still didn't understand look at what god responded verse 9 so he that is god said to him abraham bring me a three-year-old heifer a three-year-old female goat a three-year-old ram a turtle dove and a young pigeon now i was telling some people who came here on thursday that god requires sacrifices but they are really young a lot of time he he asks for offerings that are young you know they're not old because it has to be without blemish you see young young three-year-old because the offering should be pure innocent and righteous but that's not what we're here to do today now god said bring me if you really want to know you need the assurance bring me bring me many people do not realize that god can request and demand for an offering how does he do it nowadays even though there are many teachings all over and i don't really care about the teaching i just care about the revelation of scripture it's something we practice as well god you're not going to see god physically and many of you you will not hear him physically like they used to do in the older days it is men that he will send to you it is not left for you to listen to the voice that you're hearing or not and that's why i'm saying it is not for all it is not for all anybody that wants to you have something in mind for this month or beyond in this year i am asking you being led of the spirit try god bring an offering i won't say the offering even though god gave him specifics here if i were to give you a specific number trust me i will be very very selfish and greedy in giving you the number even though it's not for me it's for god anyway for the things of god but i leave you at liberty i leave you at liberty depending on the magnitude of what you are expecting and believing God for now if if some of us we do not believe that god can transform our situations many of us that's why we we we, we depend on our labor and and, and our wisdom but i want you to know that there are some who have an understanding yes we must labor paul said first corinthians 15 and 10 says by the grace of god i am that i am he says i labored above all more than all i labored but yet it is not i that labor but the grace of god that is in me so yes there is a room for labor and there's a place for grace if you depend on labor alone you can only go thus far but if you add grace to your labor it takes you thank you very much but by the grace of god i am what i am and his grace towards me was not in vain but i labored more abundantly than they all yet not i but the grace of god which was in me so you need to understand there's a place for labor and a place to add grace to your labor amen so in this few minutes i want to admonish those who have anything that they have put a date on set a date on set a time on especially for this month of june but you're not sure you have a dilemma in your heart i challenge you to give an offering to the god of heaven who owns your life and see he says prove me in this that's god speaking prove me in this whether i will not do it for you so if you're in the house just three four minutes if anyone is concerned if it touches you bring it and we will bless the offering for you it is what the lord has sent me to you today remember it is something that is tangible there is a date on it this is not just you know something in the air but something tangible something that you are anticipation of expectation of you're expecting a result yeah your interview whatever it is 
even an establishment you want to do something that you have planned and proposed for something for this month especially you want to prove him in this you want to prove god in this glory to god quickly if we are here let us this goes to no man by the way if you are thinking they are soliciting for men. This goes to no man. It goes to the work of the kingdom in this place. It goes to no man. And I can stand to boldly tell you this. By the grace of God, the Lord has blessed many. Amen. So this goes to no man. It goes for the propagation of this ministry. But this month, if you, if you cannot reach the bowl, we can, the bowl will come to you. Amen. As you are here, just begin to talk to God. You are in his presence. You are before him. You are before him. My prayer is very little. It's almost like the prayer of Eli to Hannah. Just going to be very short and brief. But your prayer is what is more important. Your prayer is what is more important. Your prayer is what is more important. Jesus. One more minute to pray this. You're just telling God, see my offering, Lord. I believe in you. And I expect positive results. I expect a turnaround, a change. Your expectation will not, it will not be cut short. It will not be disappointed. This is the word of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. And he says to somebody, as you stand on behalf of that person... Somebody standing on behalf of someone, knowing the situation of that person, says, I will not disappoint. I will come into that situation. That case, I will overthrow it, he says. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Before I just speak over you, I hope in your heart that that which you have given as an offering. You believe it is something worthy of what you are believing and trusting God for. It is between you and him. Father, I pray your people came out because they have heard this voice and your word. Trusting in this vessel as being truthful. And I pray and I pray if it is the truth that thou the one speaking i ask that heaven will bear witness till today and will answer everyone out here in the name of jesus christ the bible says it is not too much for god to deliver by a few or by many that is no matter how many we are he is more than able to answer and to hear us so i am asking he will not just select of those who are here but God, everyone who has come out to do this, count them worthy to receive their expectation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord has answered you. Amen. You are uplifted. Amen. Your prayer has been answered Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Choir. Please, as the last thing we'll be going on for today, please, those who came late to the church, bring your tithe and your offerings. Please drop up your tithe and your offering as the last thing for today's service will be going on. Thank you. We shall bring this. Yes, we shall. But please. Before we bring it to a close, please, please pardon. The women want to also present something to our Father. 
I beg the church and the different groups of the church, if you have not planned something before, we do not want impromptu plans. We could always do it next week, but it's Baba's day. We cannot take that. So, Baba, it's over to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. On behalf of the good women, present this token of love. Daddy, may God bless you. We pray that the Lord will strengthen you in the mighty name of Jesus. And this token of love, that you will spend it in good health and sound mind in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you, sir. Amen. I have to thank the women, the women of Christ Glory International Ministry. God has blessed you, and you continue to bless us. God will bless us. I'm just overwhelmed. I don't, I, don't want, I don't know what to say. Nevertheless, God is good. Amen. We shall bring the service to an end as we sing from Him, let all the people praise Him. Him, let all the people praise Him. Also, we'll use this time to collect the late offering.
Our Father in heaven, we praise your holy name this afternoon. We thank you for all that you have done for us today. We bless your holy name. Father, take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our Lord in heaven, your children have brought their tithe and their offering. We ask you to accept it in the mighty name of Jesus. Sanctify it and bless it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let this tithe and the offering be used for your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. And all your children that have brought the tithe and offering, Father, we pray you bless them abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless their going out and their coming in, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your goodness and mercy follow them all the days of their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's speak to our week. We're going into a new week in this month, the first week of the month. Let's just ask God to go with us, to gladden us, to make our crooked path to be straight. Nothing crooked must be our portion. Speak to God Almighty. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us, bless us all, cause us to be enlarged and increased this particular month in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Shall we say surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. God bless you.